Hello everyone, this is our group 8 and 9 reporting for physical science and today's lesson is all about limiting reactance and the amount of products formed. In this lesson, it's better we prepare periodic table of elements, pen and paper and also a calculator so we are, so we are able to compute. To know how to calculate limiting reactance in the amount of products formed, we have to use stoichiometry. So what is stoichiometry? Stoichiometry is a section of chemistry that involves using mole and mass relationships between reactants and or products in a chemical reaction to determine desired quantitative data. Ang mga ratios ng mga ito ay nakabase sa stoichiometric coefficients kaya dapat ang reactions na gagamitin natin must be balanced. Let's start on finding limiting reagent. So what is limiting reagent? Limiting reagent is the reagent that is completely used up in the chemical reactions. For example, what is the limiting reagent if we start with 2.80 grams of aluminum and 4.25 grams of chlorine? Here is the equation. Let's let's check it first if the reaction is balanced. If it's balanced, then we should proceed. First step is to convert first the amounts in grams to moles. Then you just write it down, moles of aluminum is equal to the given 2.80 grams of aluminum, multiply this to molar mass of aluminum. The molar mass of the element is simply the atomic mass in the grams per mole. You can simply get that, you can simply get that from the periodic table of elements. The moles of aluminum is equal to 1.104 per moles of aluminum. So, in the second naman ay yung grams of chlorine. Let's convert it into moles which is equal to 4.25 grams of chlorine and then multiply this to the molar mass of chlorine. Tignan natin ang atomic mass sa periodic table of elements times 2 dahil may 2 atoms of chlorine. So, equal to 70.90 grams per mole. So, this means for every mole of chlorine gas, Meron tayong 70.90 grams. So we just write the mo we just write the molar mass and multiply it and you will automatically get the answer which is equal to 0.0599 moles of chlorine gas or 5 or 5.99 times 10 negative 2 moles of chlorine gas. And let's get back to our previous session or discussion were we able to get the molar mass and it's calculated by multiplying its relative atomic mass by the molar mass constant equal to 1 gram per mole. The molar mass constant can be used to convert mass to moles. By multiplying a given mass by the molar mass, the amount of moles of the substance can be calculated. After natin makonvert ang mga given mass and moles, pwede na tayong magsimula na magcompute. So this is the moles of aluminum and moles of chlorine gas. The method one we use is to is to compute the actual ratio which a moles of aluminum of our chlorine gas is equal to 0 0.104 mole of aluminum over 0 0.0599 mole of chlorine gas. Our answer is 1.74 mole of aluminum over 1 mole of chlorine gas. The stoichiometric ratio 2 is came from balanced chemical equation. So there are 2 moles of aluminum divided by 1 mole of chlorine gas. Our answer is 0 0.67 mole of aluminum over 1 mole of chlorine gas. So let's compare our answer. We got an actual ratio of 1.74 and stoichiometric ratio we have 0 0.67 mole of aluminum. So we notice here that our actual ratio is greater than our stoichiometric ratio. What does it mean? It means meron tayong maraming aluminum na pwede mag-react sa bawat mole ng chlorine gas. Therefore, ang excess reagent is aluminum and the limiting reagent naman is chlorine gas. In method 2 naman, we can choose any of the reactants. In our example, we can choose their an aluminum or chlorine gas. Remember, whatever we chose, we always pretended it is the limiting reagents 
and then let's calculate the moles of our pretending limiting reagent. So in our example, kun kunwari, our aluminum is limiting reagent and we'll calculate the required amount of chlorine gas. So nandito na ang computation. So computation natin, ang kailangan natin ay Cl2 is equal 0.156 of mole Cl2 kung aluminum ang ating limiting reagents. Pero sa example natin, ang number moles of Cl2 is 0.599 moles lang, which is less than 0.5, 0.156. Yung na-compute natin, which means mauubos ang chlorine bago pa mag-fully react sa aluminum. That's why the limiting reagent is the chlorine or Cl2. Let's use the balance chemical equation for method 3. 1 mole of reaction is the number of moles given by the coefficient in our balance equation react. 1 mole of reaction is when 2 mole of aluminum react. When 3 moles of chlorine gas to produce 2 moles of aluminum chlorine. Gamitin natin yan to set up ratios. Our answer of the first mole in aluminum is equal to 0.052 mole reaction. And for second is 0.599 moles of chlorine. Ang sagot natin ay 0.052 mole reaction. Now the question is, which has less number of moles? So let's just compare. And the answer is chlorine gas and so this is limiting reactants or limiting reagent. If we already know which is limiting reagent, and then we are able now to compute the theoretical yield. So what is theoretical yield? And how to calculate the percent yield of a reaction based on the theoretical and actual yield? By the way, for this topic, Ms. Cheryl Pabilona will discuss this for us.